Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here my name is Lily and on this page we talk about personal development and mindfulness and in today's video I'm going to be talking about seeking clarity and what that actually means and the signs that you kind of need to be looking out for when you should potentially start to seek clarity let's just get straight into the video so the first thing I would say in regards to seeking clarity is when you usually find yourself <laughs> constantly starting new projects but not fulfilling them, not fulfilling them, not seeing them through. So this is something that I definitely am really guilty of, especially when I am going towards something that I really wanna do. It's almost like a distraction that I give myself when I come across any obstacles, anything like that, any sort of hard times that I need to then overcome. I always tend to seek new projects or go towards something new, starting something new, whatever it is. This is actually a sign that, you know, you need to seek better clarity because it's one of two things you need to seek better clarity in regards to what you're doing and understanding that the road isn't always going to be super smooth and com compartmentalizing your emotions and taking your emotions out of it will actually keep you on that path and on that track more so and that actually starting new projects and stuff like this you should always ask yourself if it's actually aligned with your initial goal or whether you're using that as a distraction because of fear or because um, maybe your initial goal isn't actually what you're seeking and you're, you haven't got full clarity there. It could be a multitude of things. I don't even know if that's the right word, but we'll go with it. Um, but it could be a multiple different multitude of things, multiple things. It could be loads of things. I know for me, I do tend to do this, especially if I'm struggling or if I'm finding, yeah, if I've kind of just hit an obstacle or I'm I'm kind of struggling with where I'm going or if I'm starting to get a bit of doubt I tend to look for new projects to start to spark that new initial fun that flame that you get when you've just started a new project and it's really really exciting um, I do have the tendency to do this so it's something that I'm definitely trying to be more aware of and really start to consider okay is this actually what i want is this actually just taking me away from what i actually want because maybe i've hit a roadblock and rather than facing that roadblock it's easier to have other distractions because life is always going to happen and things are always going to come into play that we weren't expecting and it's the way that we react to those things that we need to really take into consideration and be more mindful of it's definitely something that i'm working on but I've become a lot more aware of it and I've actually also really will recommend a book and I'm gonna ping it but the 1% rule is really really good in regards to you know talking about this and it's it is what made me what triggered that thought in my head of like oh I, I do actually tend to do that quite a lot is I'll start new projects but never actually fulfill them or follow them through because it's always usually just a distraction almost because I'm struggling or I've hit a roadblock with what I actually want and I'm just using that as like a oh yeah I can focus on this and doesn't ever usually you know just prolongs the whole period of getting where you want to be so it's definitely a sign that you need to start to seek clarity another sign that you need to start seeking clarity is when you sort of when you start to second guess yourself, you start to doubt yourself or anything like that, that's when you need to start seeking clarity and you need to sort of, not in the sense of like, oh, this isn't for me, but you really need to ask yourself, what is it that's holding me back and seek clarity in that aspect? Because sometimes it's just that you really don't have as much self-belief as you'd like to think you do. I really do feel like self-belief is something that is really... Um, what's the word I'm looking for, is confused by a lot of people because you would think, of course I believe in myself because I want to do it, but having self like having limiting beliefs, you know, it, it stops you from doing what you think you want to do because, and, and it's usually deep rooted and you really need to actually dig deep with it. So it's always different for each and every individual person, but you could show up as two versions of yourself, which is something that I'm gonna go into in next week's video with your limiting and empowering self-belief system. But seeking clarity at this moment is really, really important. And seeking clarity is something that you can do multiple times. This is not something that you have to just do once and that's it. Always checking in on, on yourself and really asking yourself and questioning yourself whether you know it is still what you want and whether what you're doing currently is going to get you to where you want to be. So definitely um, 
the minute you're starting to feel self-doubt or anything like that is 100% a time that you need to be rechecking your clarity and getting back into that sort of headspace and just checking in with yourself again. Another time that you need to seek clarity, which kind of goes on to my first point, but is with every opportunity that comes your way. So rather than you actively creating new projects and new things to start, when new opportunities come to you, that's when you also need to seek clarity and start to question, you know, okay, well, this new, new opportunity has come my way, but is this actually going to get me further along to what I actually want to achieve or whether this is gonna just distract me from the goals that I actually wanna achieve and it's actually gonna pull me further away from that. So always seeking clarity in those aspects. I know that sometimes it can be really hard, especially if you're coming from a position of desperation, especially if you're like times are really hard. And like, for example, at the moment, there's a lot of people that are seeking jobs and times are hard right now. So you might accept something that actually down the line you really it's really going to pull you away from what you actually want but you're accepting it out of a place of desperation rather than thinking from a place of clarity and really considering the role and what the possibilities of what you could get from that so when new opportunities are arising and coming your way you definitely need to be seeking clarity too so these are just some of the kind of ways that you need to seek clarity this is you know for anyone really if you're unhappy in a relationship you need to seek clarity if you are unhappy with where you're at in your life right now you need to seek clarity all kinds of times it's just really important that you constantly check in with yourself and this is something that yeah like i've mentioned already in this video but it is something that you can continuously do like multiple times a year a week a, like a day if you need to but um always put in a plan and then just like i say it's a whole face it system you know really accept your feelings come up with some sort of creative action plan execute that plan or express the or yourself creatively and then get, you know set that intention and give yourself time always reevaluate it so i always kind of like to work from a two-week aspect in regards to whenever i set new um routines new goals new whatever it is i always give myself kind of like a two weeks just to see where i am and then have another check-in and see where my clarity is at in that aspect too so i hope this kind of helps in regards to when you should kind of seek clarity and the importance of doing so and it is really important to continuously seek clarity because this is it's basically like having an intervention and meeting with yourself um your intuition all of that kind of stuff and just making sure that you are not distracting yourself because that's something that we can do out of fear and i truly believe you know not everyone wants to have insane crazy lives and all this and that and whatever life you want is absolutely fine but you need to make sure it is what you want and you're not operating in autopilot so seeking clarity and constantly checking in with yourself is super important although it's not easy all the time i'm fully aware and sometimes might take a bit more time than you would like but it's definitely important to stick to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's given you a little bit of understanding in regards to maybe when you need to be seeking clarity, especially if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere, if you're getting more and more aggravated with yourself or anything like that, these are definitely times that you need to be seeking clarity. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week with another video. Thank you so much. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more content from me and definitely comment down below on maybe some of your top tips in regards to how you love to seek clarity, whether you journal, bullet, bullet point, write lists, however you do so, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next week. Thanks guys, bye.